Our first speaker in this last chapter is Dave Lowry. Dave is the head of WDFNW's Puget Sound Marine Fish Science Unit, where he oversees stock assessments and ecological research that support conservation and fisheries management. Dave's a passionate educator and speaker who has appeared in documentaries about sharks on the Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, and KCTS, and tonight he appears on the Lightning Talk stage. Please welcome Dave Lowry. So I'm not gonna lie, sharks have an image problem. What problem, you may ask? This image. This is their image problem right here. When you ask American adults, nearly 75% of them say that this is the first thing they see when you see the word shark. Now, that's regardless of the fact that these are Mako teeth on a great white. That's regardless of the fact that Susan Baccalini, the actress in this image, was 5'8", making the shark 45 feet long twice the size of the biggest known great white. But this is a terrible image that is propagated. Now you might say to yourself, yeah, Dave, that was 1975, man. Uh, I would submit that it hasn't changed much, unless it maybe even got worse. Because now they have synthetic tentacles, they hunt in the shallows, they go after people in these underground facilities. It's insane, people. And why, why? Well, because sharks are dangerous. They'll eat you, right? Well, here's a few statistics for you, because I'm a scientist and I do math. So you're much, 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 much more likely to die from a car wreck, from heart disease. Hell, you're even 10 times more likely to be blown up by fireworks than attacked by a shark and killed. So we need to change this image. We need to talk about shark biodiversity. Sure, we have some freaky things. They don't have tentacles, but man, they got hammers on their head. They got surfboards on their heads. They got saws, for goodness sake. None of these attack people, though. Well, the occasional hammerhead, but... Hmm. But all of these animals, look at how beautiful, gorgeous, big, small, spotty, stripy, everything these animals are. There's so much more than great whites. We actually have 12 different species of sharks in Washington. And so today what I'm going to do is give you just a fact or two about a few of those sharks, hopefully to get you really jacked up and excited so that you'll go learn more about them. So first off, let's start with everybody's favorite shark in Washington, no, spiny dogfish, man. <laughs> These guys are awesome. These guys are awesome. The really cool thing about spiny dogfish is that they have the longest known gestation period of any known vertebrate. From the time these sharks have sex to the time they pop out little sharks, it takes two years. Two years, that's phenomenal. And yet we fish on them. What about these guys, blue sharks? They're the widest ranging shark known anywhere. They occur in every ocean on the world except the Arctic and the Antarctic. One species, and they cover the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian Ocean, the Mediterranean, they're all over the place. These are phenomenal animals to be able to cover that much ground and eat damn near anything they run into. What about Makos? Fastest shark in the ocean, and yes, we have them here in Washington off our outer coast. They can swim 60 miles an hour, they can catch tuna, they can catch billfish, they can eat a marlin. These things are amazing. They're not Jaws. They're not the big white shark with the Mako teeth. They're the real deal. They're Makos. We also have Threshers, the Indiana Jones of the shark world. They have this phenomenal tail that can be half their body length. They stop when they're hunting prey and they freeze in the water and their tail whips like a scorpion over the top of their head. They knock out fish with a sonic boom and then they just gulp them up. They don't even put teeth marks on them, people. These are not Jaws. These are ninjas. We also have basking sharks, second largest shark in the world. All they eat is plankton. We do have a few here in Puget Sound, but there's actually a terribly tragic story about these guys. I'm not gonna tell you right now though, you have to come talk to me later. <laughs> what about Pacific sleeper sharks? These guys are huge, deep sea, sluggish, gnarly, can get to 20 feet long, and we have evidence to show that they live over a century. The same kind of shark in the Atlantic Ocean is the Greenland shark. They can live up to 400 years. One shark, 400 years. Amazing. What about seven gills? Seven gills are really cool sharks. They actually pack hunt. They cooperate. They're not stupid, mindless killers. They work together like wolves. They surround a seal, they go in, they nip, they tug, they do their thing, and at the end of the day, everybody in the group eats. All right, we got six gills. Six gills live really, really deep. They also come up shallow in a few places in the world, like here in Puget Sound. 
I hate to tell you, Michael, but one female, one litter, it can be multiple males, so Blondie's kind of promiscuous. <laughs> she is also one of the fourth largest predator, or the fourth largest predatory shark species in the world. These guys are huge and phenomenal, and they're right here in Puget Sound. You can dive with them here. Now, hopefully, that got you really excited. You learned a few things about sharks. Maybe you want to know more. Well, this is where I do a shameless plug. Sean Larson of the Seattle Aquarium and I just wrote a couple of books. Read them. They're really cool, and they go into a lot more detail than this. Thank you. <laughs>